Hi there, I'm Jill Wellington and I'm going to show you how to fix clothing issues in Photoshop. Maybe you want to lengthen a skirt or lengthen some sleeves like in this photo, or you want to add some kick to a skirt, or you want to add some fullness to a skirt like in this photo. Well, it's very easy with this technique and you can use this technique for many different things. But let's start out with this photo that I took in front of a white board and a white blanket because I want to composite this photo of this little gal into a winter scene. So this is how I photographed it. But I always get my clothing for my photography at thrift stores and they don't always come in the sizes I need them. I like the length of this red jacket, but it was too small for her, so the sleeves are too short. And I like this full white skirt, but I wanted it to be full length because she's going to be in the snow. Also, I want to cover up the fact she doesn't have any shoes on. So let's get into it. It's very easy to do this. And we're going to start out, go up here, third tool down is your lasso tool. Click on this. And do you see this arrow here? This is what we're gonna to use to draw a line around the skirt. Hold down with your left mouse. And while holding down, we're just gonna circle this skirt because this is what we're gonna to use to lengthen the skirt. When we've completed that circle, you'll see the marching ants around there. And now we're gonna click on Control J. And what that did was it created a layer up here in our layer palette that only contained what was inside the marching ants. And that's what we're going to move. So go up to your top tool, click on this, it's your move tool, and you'll see this box around it. So anything that's in this box, we can now move. And we're gonna just drag it down to lengthen it, the skirt. I wanna make sure it covers up her feet. So I'm gonna make it about this, but you can pull, pull it out to fit. We wanna fit the edges correctly, like right here. Same with here. I'm gonna move this out a little bit more to have that nice edge there. Um, also, you can hold down on control and now you've, you've activated your transform tool. So you can do whatever you need to make your, your new new thing fit correctly. So I like that. We're gonna go ahead, click on any of your tools over here, and this will come up and click apply. Now we're gonna create a layer mask. Go down here, click on layer mask, and since it's a white layer mask, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna use a black brush. If your black brush isn't on top, click back and forth between these arrows and get your black on top. Now go up here, grab your brush, and make sure go up here and make sure that it's a soft brush and that it's at 100 percent now i'm going to enlarge my brush using my right bracket key that's on my keyboard and i'm just going to brush between these two layers to get rid of that line and doesn't that look nice you can also go in and clean up these edges and i'm not doing a great job because i'm just doing this for demonstration but you take your time and do a nice job on that doesn't that look good? Now we're gonna go ahead and flatten that. We're gonna right click on the background layer and click on flatten. Now I wanna lengthen these sleeves using the same technique. So I'm gonna zoom in, go back over, grab my lasso brush or lasso tool. And now I'm gonna just outline this part of her sleeve that I wanna to use to lengthen it. I'm gonna to try to be careful and not get any of the skin in there. Oh, got a little bit, but we'll show you how to fix that. Once again, you got the marching ants. Click on Control J to make your new layer. Go up to your Move tool, and now we can move it, and we can turn it however we need to. I like to overlap the layers a little bit, so when you use your mask, you'll have enough to, to make that a nice transition. You can use your Control button and transform anything that you need to do. But that looks nice, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Go down and grab a layer mask. Click on your brush again. You can make your brush smaller using your left bracket key. And I'm gonna get rid of that line. And you can go in really close and clean this up because remember I had a little bit of the skin in there. Go ahead, you do a good job. I'm, I'm kind of doing that quickly. Just clean up wherever it needs cleaning up, but wow, look at that quickly. 
we had this full length skirt and that worked out great from that to that in that amount of time and then I used this photo to create my winter composite and I couldn't have done that if I hadn't done my techniques. You would have been pretty cold out in that snow. But you can use this technique for a lot of different clothing issues. Let, what about this skirt? It's just hanging there limply. Well, I wanted it to have a little kick to it. it gives it a little personality. Isn't that neat? Let's go ahead and show you real quickly how to do that too. Same technique. We're going to go and grab the lasso tool. I'm going to grab this, whatever you're going to use to make that skirt kick out again control J move tool turn this get our little kick on here you know just stretch this out to to what you need for your picture I'm gonna click control again and I can transform this isn't that amazing how easy that is now we just apply it again, grab our layer mask, our brush, and we can do the same thing we did with the other one. Get rid of these lines. I'm doing this quickly. Get rid of those edges. Now I felt that it needed to have another pleat in there. If you need to go back and fix things, just go back to the white and get that back. But I want another pleat in there, so let's go ahead and flatten this. I'm going to just move one of my pleats over, same technique. Grab my lasso tool, I'll grab this little pleat in there. Control J, move. And now we're just moving our pleat over. So you can see how easy this is to play with and all the different ways you can do it. I'm going to grab another layer mask and kind of clean this up. But isn't that amazing? He added a little kick to that skirt and I think it looks great. Started just hanging there and doesn't that look a lot more carefree and fun? So enjoy this technique. You can use it in many different applications. Enjoy.